Good evening, sports fans. Grenada's under-19 cricket team emerged triumphant as they secured the title of champions in the 2024 Winlot Incorporated Windward Islands Under-19 Super 50 Championship. With an unbeaten record throughout the tournament, Grenada's young cricketers showcased their talent and resilience on the field, earning praise and admiration from fans and officials alike. Johnson Richardson, the acting president of the Grenada Cricket Association, along with the executive of the GCA, congratulated the team for their remarkable achievement. They said, we are incredibly proud of our young cricketers for their outstanding performance in the Windward Islands Under-19 Super 50 Championship. Their dedication and hard work have truly paid off. They've made Grenada proud. Grenada's victory marks a significant milestone in the team's journey, demonstrating their prowess and potential in the world of cricket. Throughout the tournament, the team exhibited exceptional skill, teamwork, and sportsmanship, earning the respect of their opponents and their supporters. The unbeaten run of Grenada's under-19 team reflects their commitment to excellence and their determination to succeed on the cricketing stage. Their achievement serves as a source of inspiration for aspiring young cricketers across the region, highlighting the importance of discipline and perseverance and passion in the pursuit of sporting success. The under-19 team is scheduled to return home today, Monday and Tuesday, respectively. The GFA Women's League witnessed an action-packed weekend as five thrilling matches unfolded, showcasing the talent and determination of teams across the league. From impressive victories to dominating performances, the weekend fixture, uh, fixtures left fans on the edge of their seats. St. John's Sports Club delivered a commanding performance as they hammered Hurricanes SC in their encounter at Cuthbert Peters Park with a final score of 10 to 1. Meanwhile, Paradise FC International emerged victorious in their match against SAFL at Victoria Park, clinching a well-deserved win, 5-0, and asserting their presence in the league. League Eagles Super Strikers made a formidable debut in the GFA Women's League, delivering an impressive 6-0 win over five stars at Victoria Park, while Queen's Park Rangers left spectators in awe as they gave St. David's FC a thumping at home, securing a resounding 8-0 victory. In another exciting matchup, RGPF St. Forces emerged victorious over FC Cameroon 5-1 in Women's League action at Queen's Park. As the dust settles on an eventful weekend in the GFA Women's League, teams are gearing up for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. The vibrant spirit of St. Patrick Village came alive on Saturday at the Fur Playing Field as the community gathered for a day of sports and camaraderie. Organized by the Patrick's Organization for Development, the event aimed to promote unity and celebrate local talent and foster a sense of pride among the residents. Participants from various villages within St. Patrick showcased their athletic prowess and competitive spirit in a series of thrilling sporting events. The day was filled with excitement and friendly rivalry as the teams vied for victory on the track. At the end of the event, it was Le Livera combined, representing La Mode, La Fortune, and Soteres, who emerged as the victors, showcasing their skill and determination on the field. Following closely behind was Rose Hill combined, comprised of Snell Hall and Morn Fendu, who also displayed commendable sportsmanship and teamwork throughout the day. Their impressive performance secured them a spot among the top contenders, highlighting the depths of talent within the St. Patrick community. Rounding out the top three was Hermitage Mount Rich, whose athletes showcased resilience and perseverance, earning them a respectable third place finish in the overall standings. Beyond the thrill of competition though, the St. Patrick Village sports event provided an opportunity for residents to come together and celebrate their shared heritage and community spirit. The event fostered a sense of belonging and pride among participants, reinforcing the importance of unity and collaboration in achieving common goals. The, the Patrick's Organization for Development expressed gratitude to all participants, volunteers, and sponsors for their support in making the event a resounding success. And that's what's been happening in the world of sports.